Hi, Stacy from Paint Scout here, and today I'm going to show you how you can configure your production rates. So to get started, let's head over to the person icon in the far right corner, and we're going to select account settings. From here, we're going to choose the production rates option on the left hand menu bar, and you'll see that this is made up of two subcategories, one for rate categories and the other for area names. So we're going to start with rate categories as that's where your production rates are actually going to be housed. Now, if you're not familiar, production rates are simply a calculation that are going to help you estimate the time required to complete a task like painting. So you'll see the list of all of your rate categories here, and within each you'll have a variety of production rates. So if you would like to organize these, you can um, scale down based on estimate type by clicking this drop down here and looking at just all of your interior rate categories, for example. You can also change the order in which the rate categories appear by clicking and holding down a box and just dragging and dropping to where you would like it to live. If you'd like to create a new rate category, simply scroll down and press the add new rate category option and add in a label or name for the category. You'll also want to choose what estimate types this category is going to be available on. So for walls, that's going to be an interior estimate type but you can add as many as you would like. To add a new production rate to this, we're going to select the add new rate and we're going to get started by labeling it. So the internal label is going to be what you and your team see when you are selecting the production rate to add to the estimate. So this can actually have a little bit more detail if you'd like. So let's say where this is going to be for eight foot walls with a color change. However, we can simplify that and how it appears to your customer by entering a more simplified client label. So on the estimate, we just want the customer to see walls instead. Now, if you leave this client label section blank, we'll just default to what the internal label says. And next we have the variable. So production rates are always going to consider two different variables in the calculation. You can use these drop downs to configure what those are. So for walls, we're going to do square footage by walls, and then the second variable is going to be per hour. In the coat boxes, we're going to enter our production rates. So for this calculation, I'm going to want to enter how many square feet my team can paint in one hour. So for one coat, that's 150. And let's drop that down to 120 for two and 100 for three. So you'll notice a gradual decrease as the coats increase. That's because these coat boxes don't build on one another. So the number that you actually see in the two coat box is the total amount of square feet that your team can paint for both the first and the second coat in one hour. Now, once those boxes are filled out, you can select the default number of coats from the drop down on the side here. However, many coat boxes you have filled out will still be available for selection when we're adding this rate onto an estimate. Now, if you don't want to use coats in your calculation at all, you can simply uncheck this box and enter a flat rate value. You'll also have the option to include a product um, attached by default to the rate when we add it to the estimate. So to do that, you'll click in on this box here and you'll be provided your list of products to choose from. So select whichever you would like to use, and then you can leave this coverage box blank if you would like to use the default coverage on the product that you've already input, um, or you can override that and add in your own custom coverage right here. So from here, we're going to scroll down and look at the notes options. So you can leave notes either for the area view or service view description, which will show to your customer depending on the mode you present the estimate in. And then also you have a crew note. So these notes will only be shown on the work order. And then finally, we have a couple advanced options. You can choose to hide this rate from your customer, which is great for prep rates such as masking and taping. So we're still getting the cost and hours configured into the price, but we're not necessarily showing all of that detail to the customer. 
Um, show quotes and show price will just show that information alongside the surface on the estimate description. And then you can also use a custom hourly rate to calculate this particular surface as well. Just note that if the um, checks are active on this rate in the account settings, they'll be on by default when you add this production rate to the estimate, but you can always go in there and customize that and remove the check mark for the advanced option, depending on what information you want to show on an estimate to estimate basis. So once we're happy with how this rate is set up, we're just going to press confirm and done to lock in that change. And then if the save button is populated up here, we'll also just want to ensure to press that as well. Moving on to the area names, these are going to be the rooms within the home or the sides of the house or the space that the production rate is going to be added to. So your account will already come preloaded with a list of area names for you to work from. You can also build off of those by adding a new area by pressing this button here and entering in the label or the name of the area. So let's say this is a stairwell. And then you will also select the estimate types that that uh, area is going to be available for. So I'm going to choose interior and then press done to lock in that change. And you'll see that the new area was created here. So if you have any questions as you go about building out your production rates, feel free to reach out to our support team at support at And we'd be happy to help you out.